Oh. Huh. I had to call into work um, for my day shift today. I told him I don't know what about tonight. My stomach feels like oh, somebody's jabbing a knife into it. I don't know where this came from. It was fine to like 15 minutes after I got it. Oh, I need to lay down. I need to lay down. Oh, maybe not. Oh, God. I don't know everywhere I move. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, God. I don't get sick ever. Not like this. Hmm. But, anyway. I had to call them and tell them that I wasn't going to be able to able to make it because I can't serve tables like this. It's supposed to work 11.30 to 2. Uh, and he said just call him and let him know if I'm going to be able to make it in tonight because i got to work 4 to 9 tonight. And I'm really hoping that this thing passes by that time because I could use the money. But if it doesn't, then it doesn't, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to figure out a good time to call him because you're supposed to call about two hours before your shift to let him know. So I figure uh, about 1.30, try to give him a call and let him know either way. It gives me about four hours to get rid of this thing. Oh my gosh, I can't like freaking move it. Oh, it hurts. So bad. It's like worse than a stomach cramp. I thought I had to throw up. Like, you know how whenever you're, you're about to throw up, you know, your, your mouth gets real, real watery. Real watery, and, and you get like the like hot flashes or whatever. That was going on. I was all braced and ready over the porcelain bowl of goodness toilet. And it went away. And I started feeling better. And then, bam, here it is again. But not with the nauseous. No, it's just the pain. I don't know if something I ate or what. Golly. The vlog's on. Well, it's not up yet. I'm waiting a little bit till this passes again. Then I'm going to start uploading it. Woo! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay down, relax, probably watch a movie or something, and just get an L8 in the fridge, which is kind of like 7 up or Sprite, so mm. hopefully that'll help a little bit. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is, this is not fun at all. So I ended up drinking some of my L8, just drank a little bit of it. I guess the carbonation really works amazingly because I now feel amazing and it sucks because I already called in to work but you have to call in like two hours ahead of time so I wanted to give them plenty of time so they could find somebody but with the way the weather is right now I mean ah. I hate those things but no, with the way the uh, weather is right now, I mean, shoot, it's supposed to be an amazing... <coughs> Dear God, how many are in this house? God. I'm just going to stay away from all doors and windows because apparently that's where all these things are at. I'm just going to stand in the center of the room and I should be safe. That's retarded. Sneaky though, I'll give him that much. Sneaky. So what I was saying, if it's such a nice day, it's probably going to be a repeat of yesterday and be slow as crap and I probably wouldn't make any money anyway. So, and I can't just go there and show up and be like, oh hey, I feel better. So either way, tonight's where the money's going to be made, so I'm definitely going to be working tonight for sure. And I'm going to bust my butt to get some good tips to make up for missing today. Which if it's anything like yesterday, will just be an additional... Eleven dollars. Well, I'm off work, and I. Oh, 
had a very, very bad evening. Pretty much what happened was, is uh, we were kind of in a rush, and I had these two people sit down, and one is a guy and a girl. Guy ordered uh, Bud Light Draft, and the girl said, same here. And I was like, all right, I'll get that for you, and go, and went, got their drinks. Run it back to the to their table, and um, asked them, you know, if they needed a minute to look over the menu, and he said, no, man, we're good here. And I was like, okay. And then I went about doing my other tables and stuff, and then looked back, and they were getting up to leave. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, but I figured they were just going out to smoke or whatever. And so then my manager pulls me into the office with this other guy. And they close the door, and they were like, you just got bar stopped, or whatever they call it. Pretty much the girl, they were both undercover. And they do this once every three months. And uh, if you card the person, then they give you $50. And you pass the test. If you don't, like I did, you lose your job. So, they had to fire me. Because I didn't card the person. And she ended up being 18 years old, which... It does follow me because even though I was in a rush and everything else, I should have taken the time out to Carter, and I didn't. But, I mean, the manager was furious, not with me, but with the GM and the way they went about doing it because there was no heads up, and there's usually always a heads up about it. Um, servers are pissed because they all like me, and I'm good at what I do, and they lost a good server. And uh, that's not me being conceited. That's you know what they were saying you know they're pissed about that and they're gonna look into it and the manager said he was gonna try to see about if they could just get me hired back on or if there's like a probationary period where in like a month or two I could reapply and get my job back but we don't know so I'm gonna give it to about Monday and talk to them and see what we can get worked out um, before I go and start applying for other other jobs, I might give it to Monday, I, might, I don't know, I'm just going to see. I'm still kind of in shock about the whole thing, because I wasn't expecting it. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I was feeling better, but I mean, so, like, from the nauseousness and stuff, like, I was still weak, and, I mean, I was already screwing up tables just because I, when I got there, it got, kind of got back to where it was this morning, like, not the nauseousness, but I was just weak, and tired and just drained and like just drained and I was screwing up orders I mean I was not on my A game at all and they caught me any other day I always card people it was the one time that I didn't but that's all it takes so lost my job because I didn't card a lady that was undercover that sucks because I love that job I mean it was awesome I mean I made great money with it but I mean, what are you going to do, right? I mean, the bright side is I made some really good friends that are still wanting to keep in contact with me, you know? And, I mean, I only worked there a month, and they were already like, holy crap, it sucks that we're losing you, you know? But it's one of those things. So, I mean, we're going to kind of see how it plays out, see what they can get worked out and what they can't. I mean, we'll just play it by ear. Um, I don't really know. And like I said, I'm still kind of in shock about the whole thing, but... I'm going to chill, probably watch a movie or something, and just relax and try to take my mind off of everything. Like I said, it sucks, but the only person I can blame is myself. You know, I was joking around with the manager, and I told him, I was like, I blame you, man, because you sat them in my section. You turd. But, no, we were, I mean, at the end of that, we were all joking about it. I mean, it, it does suck, but, I mean, it happened. You know, I mean, there's nothing you can do to go back in time and make it not happen. It happened. So, you just gotta make the best of it. And that's what I'm gonna do. Make the best of it. Um, like I said, you know, I'm gonna see what they can do. And hopefully we'll be able to get my old job back. Uh, if not, then something new and better will come along. It's got to. So, yeah, I'm gonna chill. And, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. But don't worry about me. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. I've been through worse. So. Just sudden. But it's all good. It's all good.